many believe electric scooters, vehicles, and bikes were invented in the previous 20 years. They will be surprised to learn electric automobiles existed over a century ago. Columbia, an electric automobile, was the best-selling U.S. car in 1897. Electric automobiles outsold steam and petrol autos. Petrol-powered automobiles took a slight sales advantage in 1903. An American writer wrote, it must be remembered that the electric motor, the steam engine, and the petrol engine have all been proven successful and that an automobile made by a well-known concern, and fitted with any one of these three types of motive power is a practical motor vehicle. However, the internal combustion engine won that race due to market manipulation based on massive oil discoveries. People also like the combustion engine's longer range. They didn't want to worry about charging and other practicalities. The story goes on. Scooter success in the 1910s inspired many enterprises worldwide. They developed different gas-powered models because of that. They were problematic, uncomfortable, and nasty to use. Stand-up scooters' reputation suffered, and it took a long time for people to change their thoughts. This may explain why e-scooter development slowed to a crawl. It was the electric bicycle and motorbike era. In the late 1930s, French inventor Maurice Limelet got things moving. In 1938, he and his brother Albert launched Socovel, an electric motorbike manufacturer. Due to petrol rationing under the German occupation, Maurice invented and developed his electric scooter in 1941. German soldiers were interested in its lightweight design. Despite their high price, Socovel sold over 400 units in their first year. Production and sales of e-bikes continued until 1945. Even the US had a gas scarcity during World War II. This led Long Beach resident Mole Williams to create an electric bike. What started as a hobby became his job. He successfully made and sold e-bikes throughout World War II. After partnering with a local business entrepreneur, he founded marketeer company, now Parkar Corporation. They continue to design and manufacture electric cars. Austrian chemist Karl Kordek, a co-inventors of the alkaline battery, created a fuel cell nickel cadmium battery hybrid electric motorcycle in 1967. American racer Floyd Clymer invented the papoose that year. First Indian brand electric bike prototype. Mike Corbin, another American racer and innovator, invented the lead acid city bike commuter e-bike in 1975. Fast freaks may be interested in Mike Corbin's 1974 electric motorcycle speed record. He reached 163.287 miles per hour, 266.165 kilometers per hour on his modified Quicksilver motorcycle. The record lasted an astonishing 38 years. The trend continues. Many individual enthusiasts worked on e-bike models in the 1970s improving constantly. While focusing on electric motorcycles, their ideas led to the contemporary electric kick scooter. Peugeot started mass producing the Scootlek electric scooter in 1996. Though bulky and using non-eco-friendly NICD batteries, it was a success. It was a major advance. GoPed debuted in 1986. It revived gas-powered stand-up scooters from 1915. The 2001 hoverboard had full suspension on both wheels. The 1991 invention of lithium-ion batteries was a breakthrough. The most energy per kilogram and current output came from these batteries. Another reason laptops, smartphones, etc. utilize them is faster charging. They were the greenest too. Vimo Buta. Who invented the contemporary kick scooter? One name comes to mind. Swiss banker Vimo Buta designed the current portable lightweight kick scooter in 1990 to go a mile between his home and the neighborhood Bratwurst business in Zurich. Alberter maintained working on his gadget and eventually created a three-wheeled version that he presented to K2, an American athletic goods firm. They introduced it during the 1998 Munich International Sports Fair. The kickboard kick scooter helped Alberter launch micromobility systems in 1999, which made his two-wheeled concept. Demand was tremendous. Vimo Buta's Taiwanese partner sell the scooter in the US as Razor. Thus, the popular brand installed an electric motor in 2003. 
modern electric scooters. In the 2000s, the reintroduced GoPed made enthusiasts combine that idea and design with different electric motors and batteries of the latest versions. Various electric scooter prototypes saw the light of day. One of them was MyWay, which began as a project in a closet in 2009. Today, it's known as Inakim, and it's one of the top companies that makes electric kick scooters. There are now a lot of other makers, and we may see more of them soon. People are becoming more and more aware of how much better electric scooters, especially stand-up scooters, are than gas-powered mopeds every day. Some of the benefits of the modern electric scooter are that it is portable, light, makes no pollution, is easy to use and handle, is the perfect answer for the last mile, and has a very low cost per mile. The emergence of Fluid Free Ride This was March 2018. Since Fluid Free Ride came out, there have been big changes in how people get around cities. This new idea blends the ease of use of electric scooters with the adaptability of ride-sharing services. It starts a new era of environmentally friendly and efficient transportation. Fluid Free Ride makes it easy for people to get around city streets, which lowers their carbon footprint and encourages healthier city life. With the help of smartphone apps, riders can quickly find and unlock these electric scooters. This makes them an easy-to-use and eco-friendly way to travel short distances. Cities all over the world are having trouble with traffic and pollution. The launch of Fluid Free Ride is a promising solution that meets the growing need for clean, convenient, and cheap ways to get around cities. Fluid City Rider the new City Rider is a lightweight foldable e-scooter with a 36V350W motor that can reach 18 miles per hour. It's 28 pounds, 13 kilograms weight and 10 15 mile, 16 24 kilometers range make it ideal for inner city commutes. Integrated turn signals, brilliant front and rear LED lights, drum brake and rear step on brake make this scooter safe and easy to ride. You may customize the sleek display showing speed in miles or kilometers per hour, driving modes, and more with Android and iOS apps. The app allows cruise control and speed selection. Solid tires eliminate flats. Its matte black color and wooden deck make it an attractive e-scooter. Fluid Horizon The Horizon is a great choice for anyone who wants a steady friend with a long range and a lot of power. There are two kinds of batteries, 10.4R, which can go up to 23 miles, 37 kilometers, and 13R, which can go up to 30 miles, 48 kilometers. With a 500W a peak power 800W rear hub motor, it can easily climb 15% hills and can reach a top speed of 25 miles per hour, 40 kilometers per hour. The package comes with both a good drum brake and regenerative stopping. The dual suspension system makes the ride very smooth. The back tire is firm so that it won't go flat. Most of the time, they hurt the back. It is very portable because it is easy to fold and has a smart way to do so. There are LED lights everywhere and a complicated display of throttle combo that gives you a lot of ways to change the settings. Carbo Mantis Pro V2 Fluid Edition The original Mantis scooter is still fantastic. Known for its performance and ride, it improved. The new Carbo Mantis Pro boasts IPX5 rating, hydraulic brakes, and updated lights. If you want a crossover for inner city commutes and off-roading, it's ideal. Very fast with tons of torque and acceleration. Dual 60V1000W motors allow for 40 miles per hour, 64 km per hour peak speed and 30% inclines without a hiccup. A great dual suspension system with sophisticated spring arms makes riding through grass or other paths pleasant. Minimotors EY3 display a throttle offers speed restriction, cruise control, regenerative braking strength, motor torque, and ABS settings. New brilliant headlights at handlebar height, front and rear LEDs, turn signals, and a lateral LED strip will keep you visible at night. Though only 65 pounds, it has a 40 plus mile, 64 plus kilometer range. Despite its size, it can be carried in one hand. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the evolution of the e-scooter. Don't forget to follow us on social media for updates and more fascinating content. Until next time, ride safe and stay curious.